world-renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku titled The God Equation, The Quest for a Theory of Everything, attempts to answer that question. And Dr. Kaku joins us now. Doctor, it's great to see you. So let's begin with the theory of everything and what exactly it is. How do you explain it in terms that Joe and I even could understand? Well, when I was a child of eight, something happened which changed my life totally. A great scientist had just died. And all the papers flashed a picture of his desk with the unfinished manuscript of his greatest work. And I said to myself, wow, why couldn't he finish that? What's so hard? Why didn't he ask his mother? Well, I went to the library and I found out this man's name was Albert Einstein. And that book was to be the God equation, an equation no more than one inch long that would allow us to, quote, read the mind of God. Now, even school children know E equals MC squared. That unifies M, matter, with E, energy. Well, Einstein was not satisfied. He wanted a bigger theory that would unite the nuclear force, gravity, electromagnetism, into one simple equation. And unfortunately, he failed. But today, we think we have it. It's not in its final form. That's why I'm still working on it. But it's called string theory. And it has satisfied all the requirements for a theory of everything. So just remember that the greatest minds of humanity for 2,000 years have wanted a single paradigm, a theme, a design for the entire universe to explain the diversity of everything there is. Well, that could be string theory. So, Dr. Kaku, if you do figure this out uh, beyond what you've what you've just outlined here, um, aren't you going to put yourself out of a job if we can explain everything? Do we need physicists anymore? Well, the universe, I think, is like a chess game. And after 2,000 years of investigation, we finally figured out how the pawns move and the bishop and the knights. One day, we will figure out the God equation, that is, the rules of the universe and become grandmasters. So no, I'm not gonna be out of a job. We'll still have to work at the frontier of relativity. For example, time travel. Is time travel possible? Are there other dimensions and other universes? What happened before the Big Bang? What's on the other side of a black hole? And when you talk about parallel universes, many people ask me the question, will you answer the question? Is Elvis Presley still alive in a parallel universe? And the answer is, quite possibly yes. He might be building out hits even in a parallel universe. So, Doctor, the string theory and everything that it entails that you have articulated here, do you believe in God? I believe in the God of Einstein, the God of Spinoza, that the universe is gorgeous. It's simple, elegant, its simplicity is dazzling, and it could not have been an accident because it would have been random, chaotic, ugly, but here we are in this gorgeous universe. You know, we can put the theory of almost everything on a simple sheet of paper. One sheet of paper that contains relativity, the quantum theory, it didn't have to be that way. The universe could have been boring, it could have been empty, and yet here we are, conscious beings with self-awareness, consciousness wondering about the great themes of the entire universe itself. That's why I believe in the God of Einstein. Now, Galileo put it this way, the purpose of science is to determine how the heavens go. The purpose of religion is to determine how to go to heaven. In other words, physics is about natural law the laws of the universe. Religion is about ethics, how to be a good person, how to go to heaven. In other words, I see no contradiction. They are complementary.